this morning I'm going to finally take out my avocado tree and it didn't turn out so well look at my avocado tree this is the Haas I purchased this one at Lowe's and about um, a little over a month it just it's been looking like this so, it's dead. Where is it? Whoops. There it goes. <laughs> it's dead. It really is. Um, and it's been like that for over a month. Um, a few weeks ago. No, actually about a month or so ago. There was really high winds and a lot of the leaves fell off. And I think it just stressed the tree out. It was doing really well. It actually was blooming and all of a sudden it just started dying and I couldn't, I couldn't figure out what was wrong. So, that's my dog. I um, watered it more frequently. I stopped watering it and nothing was helping it. And then I think that maybe my soil wasn't that great, um, which it, it isn't because this is my first year doing this. Um, so maybe that's it. Maybe it just gave up after the windstorms. And um, now I'm just gonna try again. And I love avocados, we love avocados. And this is something that I'm going to try as many times as I need to, to be successful at it. Um, so I purchased a new one. This is a different variety. This is a day avocado. Um, it's from our local nursery, um, JNR, I believe, in Houston, Texas. I'm in South Texas. Um, so this one seems to maybe be a little bit more cold hardy, and I think it might um, do better with my soil. So we shall see. I'm going to show you what it looks like when I pull it out. Uh, maybe it helps you. I don't know. I don't know how many times I'm gonna have to do this or how many tries um, But I'm willing to do it. I'm okay with it. It's the only tree out of everything in my backyard orchard that has Not lived so hmm, I am pretty excited actually um, So let's get started right away I've noticed that it's a little too low so maybe it was a drainage problem let me show you so I don't know if you can tell but maybe from this angle it sort of slopes down so I went and got some native soil this is what it looks like and I'm gonna fill it in to raise it up and hopefully give it the drainage it needed. It's a little moist right now because I watered yesterday. Um, but you see, here, let's pull it out. So, definitely very bad drainage look at all this and I did not water you can hear the water look at it it's just really bad drainage I mean I did not water this tree obviously because it's not alive but um, really bad drainage so I think I'm gonna add a couple things some gypsy and raise it with some native soil and then maybe the tree will like it okay all right it's very wet and I mean it's 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 pretty bad
this is my problem. It's pretty deep, but look. Let's see if I can focus. Okay, see? This is really bad. Really bad soil. So let's see if I can amend that. So I found a barrier. So I think this is the reason why the water just can't go past this. So I'm gonna to try to work this. Get some gypsum. This is what I have. And this helps loosen up clay soils. Use this and then once I get it started, I'll use this for the root ball and see this has mycorrhiza and beneficial bacteria so it's going to be really good for the roots hopefully. All right. Okay, South Texas, it's super humid, but let me show you what I've discovered. Okay, you see all this? Let me get my knee pad. Hold on. Okay. So, pure sand. Whoops. Pure sand. All of this. And, I mean, once I hit the bottom, I'll show you right now. This is hard as a rock. So... Everything above here just retains water. It just does not drain anywhere. So you can tell, here's the water. Look at that. It's just not gonna go anywhere. And then, so it drains from here, but then it stays maybe about six inches below. And then it's just sand, just sand. And it gets hard as a rock. So I worked it. I'm going to add some gypsy. Hopefully this helps and then I'm going to raise it up much, much higher than those already. And that's it right there. Hopefully this guy survives. Okay. This is what I'm going to use. About, I uh, think, a cup. Or so yeah no actually it says three cups per one pound so I'm just gonna eyeball it Okay, it's kind of droopy, so it definitely is going to need support. <laughs> I don't know why it's so droopy, but, oops. Okay, from this angle, you can see the seed. You can see the seed here, and we're gonna keep that 
the way it is exposed that's the best way to keep it I'm gonna go ahead and fill in and make make this look nice and pretty again and then we're gonna stake it down hopefully we can make a little well and see if maybe that also helps and so I made a mess <laughs> oh by the way these are just um, this is a way to hold off this little spot right here there's a drainage to our fire pit and we need to fix that so that's a little holder mark all right Whew. it's getting pretty hot and it is complete isn't she so pretty I think I'm gonna call her sheep because it's a day avocado I guess it just goes I don't know but I'm gonna call her day and she's so pretty I can't wait um, I don't know too much about this variety except for that I believe it's hardy to 30 degrees and that's pretty much our lows here in South Texas so um, I mean I know that it's gonna get pretty hot and it is um, early July I think today's the 8th 7th 8th somewhere around there and it's not ideal to plant at this time however I do have a shade cloth and I might just be using that it's a little droopy right now I hope in the next few days that um, she picks up or perks up I do um, post daily updates on my Instagram uh, stories so if you want to go check those out I'm always there um, but I'm just let you see how she looks and then thanks you <laughs> thank you for joining me and hopefully you stick around for the next one